Yeah, the inspiration for the seed and the soil came from Frank Selby, who was an artist in residence at the McCall Centre for Visual Arts. Um, and he first came, we first met um, about doing some sort of collaboration, but we, we weren't sure, or I wasn't sure what it was going to be. I'd, I was familiar with his art, um, and I'd seen some of it before. Um, and usually when you do a collaboration with a visual artist, you sort of incorporate some part of their artwork into the piece or, or make the piece about their artwork. But he, wa he wanted to do something completely different. My hesitation going forward was that I didn't want to take a piece of his art, project it behind the dancers, and then just dance about the piece of art. Um, it, it's been done before, and if I was going to do a collaboration with a visual artist, I wanted to incorporate his art in a different way. Well, when we met, he said, no, I don't want to use any of my art whatsoever. He said, I've always, he's, he talks about work, working in two dimensions, and um, he, he just feels like he wanted to break out of that and work in three dimensions, and he's always been drawn to dance. Um, so rather than make a piece about his work, he came with a concept about some research that he'd been doing, um, which he thought would make a great dance piece. So that was kind of refreshing because you had someone come in and talk to you about um, doing a piece and they'd already had the construct of an idea with them, um, which is often quite hard to, to find as a choreographer. You're always searching for that next idea or that next inspiration to do a piece about. Um, and he came with this um, information already with him, but there was nothing um, tangible to grasp onto as to, as to what his part in the process was going to be at, at first. Um, he'd been researching um, uh, some history of, of the CIA and about um, um, a project, it was called Project MK Ultra, and it was about the CIA testing um, acid on civilians. Um, and they would procure um, civilians in, in different types of ways. They would lure some people up to brothels, um, they would um, ha ask for volunteers and they would give them copious amounts of acid and, and see how they would react and I think it was all about um, seeing if they could control people by drugging them basically, mind control and they, they would watch to see the effects of that um, I, and it, it quite intrigued me so I did some research about it um, and then he had some uh, visual effects or visual things that he wanted to use in the piece um, and I don't want to give that away before you see the piece, which you're about to watch right now, is, um, and I wanted to incorporate those as much as I could without it being too literal. I didn't want literal overtones of psychedelic music and rainbow lights and, and things like this. And, um, and so during the process, we would just go back and forth um, and he would come and sit in on rehearsal and, uh, and watch the dancers, which I think was um, quite different to anything he's experienced before. And I would ask his input on to, on to perhaps what direction we should go next. Um, um, and, I, and I thought, well, what would be a great way to incorporate him? So I asked him if he would be interested in being in the piece, and he was more than willing to do that. And when they did these things, when they tested all this acid on, on civilians, they would always have people observing them and watching to see how they would interact um, with each other or, or how the uh, drugs would affect them. So I thought it'd be very interesting if he was that person in the piece. And, uh, and how he would manipulate the dancers. So we have him um, in there being physical with the dancers and uh, we use some things, um, uh, theatrical ideas in place of, uh, you know, uh, people taking, looking like they're taking loads of drugs. <laughs> 